Hello, my name is Allie Cade, and I'm a curator at the Sigel Music Museum in Greenville, South Carolina. I've been going through our collection and selecting some of my favorite things to share, so today I thought I would bring out a very interesting flute, which came in an even more interesting case. The instrument itself, known as a German or transverse flute, was made by the British maker Haystrom, and it's crafted of boxwood with ivory for rules. This instrument comes with an interesting addition, a round wooden ring called a cheater, which slides over the mouthpiece and allows the player to focus on their fingers rather than their mouth position or embouchure. However, the most exciting part of this flute is actually the case itself. Throughout our collection, we have some cases that are old, some that are new, some that are original to the instrument, and some that are not. But to have a case original to the instrument is a really special treat, and it can sometimes tell us even more about who owned the instrument and what role music and the instrument played in their life. This incredibly unique flute case is in the form of a book. It has a full leather binding with gold tooling on the spine and a small patch of red Moroccan leather bearing the label German Flute Instruct. The sides of the book, resembling pages, are drawn on. Two metal clasps secure the sides, and when they're open, the case reveals perfectly arranged compartments for storing a transverse flute. And you might be asking yourself, why is it in a book? A closer examination of the case and the book plate inside tell us exactly who owned it. A British man named John Freeman Millward Dubbiston. Both he and his father, also named John Dubbiston, were naturalists and grew extensive exotic gardens on the grounds of their Shropshire home, which was called the nursery. The book plate also has the Dubbiston family crest, which bears their motto, Percussus Elevor, which translates to struck I am raised. The younger Doveston also tinkered in inventing, in addition to his interest in botany. He built up a grand library housing various instruments, both musical and scientific, within books, even building a bookcase microscope which survives in the collection of UC Berkeley. The instrument and this case tell a special story about John Doveston's interests and unique practices of protecting and housing his prized collection. Please leave any questions about the instrument or the case below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.